All right, aside from episode, what was it? 151 uh, back in Jaya. Last episode may have been the biggest info dump we have seen in this series yet. Absolute insanity. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss or I Shinobi. We have episodes 315 and 316 of our One Piece watch through today. And yeah, it, it was a lot. Go back and watch it if you missed it. Garp is Luffy's grandpa. Dragon is Luffy's dad who is leading a revolutionary army. Shanks is on the same level as Whitebeard. It's just madness. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's hop into the episode how nice of you garb good guy garb <laughs> i was like yeah they're not gonna be okay with that dude he's actually gonna let them leave oh my gosh he's just gonna dip does he want him to say i love you <laughs> i love garp dude he's a bit of an odd one though they're gonna be here a minute if frankie's gonna build a whole freaking boat good times man she went to the pool with Kokoro. The horn! <laughs> He's a running. Hey, Kokoro's back in mermaid form? Gimme, gimme. Wait, how did you get here? Why didn't we get to see that? The article was a lie? Do they lie about like where navy ships are so the pirates can't keep up with them? Oh. Yeah. They've got a contract with the Sea Kings. Mary. It's going to be so sad to see Mary in like flashbacks and stuff, man. Oh, what? That keeps them away? Oh, oh no. She's listening in. They don't have a deal with the Sea Kings. They just completely avoid them. Oh, dang, dude. Just taking notes. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, information from a Navy officer, sergeant, sorry. Where's Kokoro? Let's go! Dr. Vegapunk? Oh my gosh. New tech that was an object to eat a devil. Wait, wasn't there something? Was it Long Ring, Long Island, where there was an object? No, wait, it was Spandam's sword. It was a sword that ate an elephant, right? I'm pretty sure. That's like the same thing. I still want to know how Luffy ended up in the barrel. <laughs> hey, listen, Kobe, at this age, that might not be a bad gig. I'm gonna be honest. Hell, <laughs> Meppo. It's like Robocop. <laughs> it's cute, these three hanging out, man. Who's all destiny? He seems cool. Yeah, he like, they were like tadpoles and he actually took them under his wing. Who's their Mr. Miyagi? Trained them like crazy, but now they're much stronger, much more capable. She's not even listening anymore. Oh, that's so sweet, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's glorious, my goodness. No, I don't want him to leave. Yeah, technically. I have a bad feeling that that's like inherently saying that like they'll end up clashing at some point. The second half of the ground. Oh, were they said the emperor's kind of a, a chokehold? The last scene. Oh. The new world. Dang. So the new world is where the emperors sort of hold a rule. Oh my gosh. The second half of the Grand Line. We have a new like sort of overarching aside from like just getting to the very last island in general. What was the last island? Raftel? Dude, Kobe is an admiral? <laughs> Kobe, I'm gonna be honest. You might eat, have to eat a devil fruit, buddy. I've seen Aokiji. Oh, it's like that inspiration, like pushing him again. I don't want them to fight. 
He's like, that's crazy. Dang, never did I think this would be the next time they would meet. 300 something episodes later. I wonder if the next one will be like 600 or so. It seems so far away then, but it's closer now. <laughs> He's still severe. They're both still severely outmatched, but like I said, they've come so far, man. It's really like adorable optimism out of them. And now the rest of the crew knows who they are and how they impacted Luffy and Zoro. Aww. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh gosh, the new world. I'll have to go there eventually. But I mean, if Shanks is like in such high ranking there, then like, I feel like they'll have a good chance with someone like that on their side. Yeah. Oh, the newspapers. Everybody's gonna find out. Well, yeah, it was supposed to be us. Yeah, they can't talk about it. But they're gonna say it was because of the straw hat. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. They'll they'll blame the straw hats for just annihilating any sloppy. I wonder what Spandem's up to. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see exactly what went down as soon as they left. Kobe, you're seeing more, man. True. True, actually. He could be one of the good ones. Someone's got to change things. I like how Hamebo's like, oh, well, you can be a good guy. No, Helmepo's just not dumb. <laughs> this is like their clubhouse up in the crow's nest. Oh, weak! Oh my gosh. Carp is brutal. Is that a mini water seven in this water park? He thought it was Nami. <laughs> Let's go, everybody. Come hang. Hell yeah. The Giants. Okay, guys. Uh, this water park is getting a little crowded. Chopper sliding on his tail. <laughs> Iceberg. Yeah. Bro, Polly, chill. Does he not have a problem with what they wear every day? Frankie! Ow! Ow! Entrant number one, is he is he gonna like jump in the pool? Aw. The last time it felt like this was like uh Sky Island when, when they were having like the bonfire and stuff. This is so cute. Lou la la lu. These scenes are so wholesome, man. The drinking buddies! And Water 7 is at peace. Feels good, man. Smile. What? <laughs> Did he just want to know her thought process? I never forgot his name. Oh. That's why he said Kuzan. That's why he let her escape at least. Damn, he put his friend down? The one thing he gave Saul. I like that a lot. Finally found a tree. Damn! Ohara still lives on. Oh my gosh! She's like kind of worried or scared that he's here, but like, I don't know. I saw it as sort of like a like a good omen from him. Like, it's almost like he doesn't see her as a threat like the government does because he's seen who she is. He's seen what she's gone through. And the fact that she'd be willing to just stay with them and be with them shows that that's all she wanted. That's all she does want. God, dude, Aokiji, I, I really like him. He just rides right past everybody. Oh, man. I love that so much. A tree to call home. I figured there'd have to be some kind of closure with everything, especially since it's all kind of quieted down. 
that was so, like my heart i was i wasn't even like on the verge of crying but like my heart was just so filled because of how much it feels like aokiji did want her to succeed i mean yeah he left her alive originally because of Saul and has kind of followed what she's been up to but he really did expect her to fall at, at, at the, the hands of cp9 and to be captured and just used i'm guessing and i don't think he would have done a thing about it but i think the way everything went he's genuinely like happy and happy for her so i don't know man like i feel very optimistic especially with like i said all the stuff that's come out about shanks and stuff and the fact that aokiji has like a, a sort of like a warm place in his heart for all of them i don't know episode 316 let's get it